This is a 2021 Mercedes-Benz C300. There's a reason why it's Mercedes-Benz's best-selling sedan in United States, outselling the BMW 330i by a considerable margin. Woo! And what I mean by that is that this C300 gives you more than you can ever ask for, such as a whole lot of luxury, technology, and performance. If you're looking for a car larger than an A220, you'll be totally satisfied with this C300. You get more cabin space, cargo space, and more power. You can totally configure this C300 many different ways, from this sedan, to a coupe, to a convertible, all-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, four, six, or an AMG eight-cylinder engine. This is a C300 sedan. Base price is $41,600, but it's fully loaded. Just the way I like it. It's priced at $50,500. I'm gonna go through all the options and features of the cars and start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. This review wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles and Rafael Gonzalez. They have a wide variety of sedans, SUV, coupes, and AMGs. Check out their website, make an appointment with Rafael. He'll work with you to help you get what you're looking for. Here are a few words from Rafael Gonzalez. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Rafael Gonzalez here at Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles in downtown LA, sunny Southern California. Please, if you like today's video on the 2019 CLS 450, give it a big old thumbs up. You wanna like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of that fun stuff. Show some support for Randy's reviews and look forward to more reviews he's gonna be doing on some of our vehicles here in the near future. And I do speak Spanish. For those of you that speak Spanish, también hablo español. So don't forget the name. If you want to work with me, my information and the link will be in the description below. Please check it out. Don't forget the name, all right? Rafael G, making it easy. Peace. This C300 comes with an inline four-cylinder engine that pushes out 255 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. Now, all that power goes to the rear wheel through a nine-speed automatic transmission. All that torque gets you zero to 60 in just 5.7 seconds. Wow! By the way, this C300 sips on gas like it's aged whiskey. E -e -e -e. <laughs> Drive it considerably, considerably, and you get 24 in the city. City? The big buildings? City. And 35 on the high, high, highway. Highway or freeway? Freeway. There's a highway. We'll stick with highway. The C300 keeps its elegant, sleek, and athletic design for 2021. Mercedes-Benz hasn't touched the architecture because it works perfectly. The C300 comes with 17-inch wheels. These are the multi-spoke 18-inch wheels for only $200. It's a bargain because other manufacturers will typically charge you for a full set of wheels versus just an upgrade charge. If you're loving the color like I am, it's called Cardinal Red Metallic. The upgraded color is only $1,000, which is a lot cheaper than $2,500 that Tesla charges for the same color. All C300s come with projection LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. This has the exterior lighting package. At night, if your high beams are on, it will automatically switch to low beams when the camera senses oncoming headlights. And underneath the emblem is a radar for all your safety features. The rear end remains unchanged from last year. Because of this pandemic, Mercedes-Benz didn't give the C300 a facelift in North America. So if you love this style, get it now because next year is going to change. I just want to say thank you to Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles and Rafael for lending me their 2021 Mercedes-Benz C300 for the day. If you're in the market for a new certified Mercedes-Benz or luxury used car, just check out the website, call Rafael. Make an appointment with him. Give him an opportunity to win your business. 
His information is in the description below. And by the way, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. They love seeing those. It helps me get cars like these and the C300 to review for you. The opening to the trunk is right under the Mercedes-Benz emblem. It has an automatic open, close, and lock, so I'm not sure why there's a handle to pull down the trunk lid. What you see here is 12.6 cubic feet of space, which is a little smaller than its competitors, but what you lack in trunk space, you gain in cabin space. Here's some storage space with a first aid kit. Here are some rings for your cargo net, and on the other side, you get more storage. Lift the floor up and you get more storage space. And you see a crate to hold your stuff. No longer are fuses kept in the cabin. They're right here. Just lift the flap up and there you see all your fuses. Look up and you'll see a tray. This tray pulls out and becomes a big bag when you place things inside. The tray idea actually comes from the E-Class sedan. It comes in handy if you don't want your groceries, baked goods, bottles to roll around the trunk while you're driving. The C300 also comes with front and back floor mats. To get more cargo space, it's really easy. Just pull the tabs on each side, then pull the seats down which are really easy to do. What you see here is 25 cubic feet of cargo space which now is in line with its competitors. The front and back seats are really nice and comfortable. Although this is synthetic leather, no one would ever know. Besides, this material is much more durable. The seats are perforated to keep you cool and bolstered enough to keep you comfortable for those long trips. Let's see how easy it is to get inside and how comfortable it is once I get in there. I'm six feet tall, I'm gonna sit behind myself. Now it's easy to get in because it sits like a normal sedan. You won't have a problem getting your head in because this doesn't cut low like a four-door coupe would. I have about an inch of leg space and about a quarter of an inch of headroom. Now this is uh, considerably larger than the A35 that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. The seats are wider and bigger, fitting three adults back here somewhat comfortably. Nice job, Mercedes-Benz. And the doors sound totally solid. Nice job, Mercedes-Benz again. The C300 now comes with keyless go at no charge. To open the door, you can use a remote or just put your hand behind the door handle and it locks, the mirrors fold down. There you go. To lock it, you can use a remote, shut it, push the indention here, it locks and the mirrors fold in. Now, I didn't know the back door had keyless go too. To unlock it, you do the same thing. Put your hand behind the door handle, door unlocks, mirrors fold out. There you go. To lock it, shut it. You can use a remote or just push the indention locks and the mirrors fold in. Of all things, the doors are worth mentioning. You won't find a fancier door in this class. It has a mixture of wood, soft plastics, and synthetic leather. The contrasting colors along with the aluminum trim adds to the luxuriousness that Mercedes-Benz is known for. Mercedes-Benz sets the standard when it comes to the interior design. The interior will ooh and ah you the first glance you take you'll notice the refinement of the different textures and the sexiness of the design mercedes-benz keeps their display unit and steering wheel standard throughout their lineup now except this doesn't have the new mbux infotainment system which is like alexa you really never have to take your hands off the steering wheel because you have access to virtually everything you can customize the display screen with the sensor on the left side of the steering wheel. It can be information overload, so what you really want to do is find the gauges that you use the most. Just set it and forget it, since most of those gauges you won't even use. This is your command center, the infotainment system. You get access to all the options and features your car has to offer, from navigation, phone, to radio, but all the fun happens in the vehicle settings. You can set up your performance, lights, safety features, ambient lighting, mirrors, and a whole lot more. Just be patient and understand how each category and subcategory is laid out so you won't be so frustrated. Remember, just set it and forget it. One thing worth mentioning is that this has the LED projection logo for only $275. It's well worth it. Just look up and you get a sunglass holder with LED lights and a sunroof with sunshade at no charge. Plastic is not included. 
Now for the fun part, let's take the 2021 Mercedes-Benz C300 that Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles and Raphael lent me for the day. The interior isolates its occupants from wind and road noise, similar to the E-Class and CLS. It's super plush and comfortable, and it just gets a little firmer when you place it in Sports Plus. It's not a sports car, so no matter what performance mode you put it in, you'll never get an uncomfortable ride if you want to race. Get the AMG C63S if you want to race that Corvette or Porsche. You may have a chance. This four-cylinder engine is shared between the A, E, G, L, B, G, L, E, and G, L, C. Also, the Metris, the Sprinter, and the S, L, C all have the same four-cylinder engine, just tuned a little differently. Now, this engine is really powerful and dependable. It's been out since 2012, and Mercedes-Benz has only been improving on it. It was out in the 2019 CLA 45 and it pushed out 416 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. So it can be tuned to be more powerful and it's reliable. Wow, I'm a good rapper. The C300 is really comfortable and the ride is smooth. It soaks up cracks really well. The seats are plush and the steering wheel telescopes far enough out for those who have T-Rex or tall people and it also tilts. The windows are big, so it mitigates any blind spots. And the roof line is a true sedan. It's not a four-door coupe, so it doesn't cut low. But this car has blind spot warnings, lane change assist, speed adaptation, steering wheel assist, so no worries. This C300 has the driver's assistant package for $1,700. So you might want to get that package. So there you go, the 2021 Mercedes-Benz C300. It offers a whole lot of luxury technology and performance. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. I'm Randy. See ya. <laughs> I don't really need that that sick go really I don't really need that chill sick go really I don't really need that that sick go really I don't really need that 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 I don't really need that that sick go really I don't really need that chill sick go really I don't really need that that sick sick go that sick go sick go I don't really need that that sick go really I don't really need that chill sick go really I don't really need that that sick go really I don't really need that that that